Stuart was magnificent at stating direct truths, but uh, another quote I remember called plain speech in the mother tongue, stating that which deserved to be stated. You had articulated a vision of a possible civic society. And I was thinking coming into our mind this evening to this space outside and inside. It's terrific that the Hewitt Summer School is envisaging itself in a new life uh, in, in the new civic surroundings with new possibility here. So it's a great pleasure to be part of it. The programme that we've got this year and the people that you see coming here give you a very good cross-section of what we've been doing for the past 21 years in the John Buick Summer School. I think it's quite significant that we've got Seamus Heaney as the greatest living Irish poet since Yeats, uh, but we've also got Billy Collins, a former American Poet Laureate, and if you think about that, I think that represents the two strands of uh, John Hewitt's life, the sort of internationalism and the particular localism. Just saying, before the invention of the window, the poets would have to put on a jacket <laughs> and would have to go outside or remain indoors with only a wall to stare at. And when I say a wall, I do not mean a wall with striped wallpaper and a sketch of a cow in a frame. I mean a cold wall of field stones, the wall of the medieval sonnet, the original woman's heart of stone, the stone caught in the throat of her poet lover. And I think one of the things about the Hewitt Summer School is that it constantly reminds people here that yes, we have this rich culture and we have all these issues that we have to deal with here, but the people have those issues all over the world. And though we find our love in this deep well, mid rock and heather, let there be no wall to shut the warm winds out that bring us word how over Europe liberty has fared. And I think that's how I feel about John Hewitt. He was interested in the arts. He travelled all over Europe, looking at art in Venice and Hungary and Poland and so on, uh, and bore witness to what was happening in these parts uh, through art and through his own conversation. And I feel through a big, long conversation we've been having here ever since with people from every walk of life here and in Britain and beyond. We're kind of carrying on that conversation of his uh, through art, but through actually sitting down and talking to each other. You know? The automatic lock took shut. The blackbird's panic is short-lived. For a second, I have a bird's eye view of myself, a shadow on raked gravel in front of my house of life. Hedgehog, I am absolute for you. Your ready talk back. Your each stand of his comeback. Your picky nerdy go beak on the grass when I arrive, in the ivy when I leave.